Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm a big guy who's trying to make some positive changes for his life, little by little, step by step, changing the way that I live so that I can have a healthier life. And today, I want to focus on one very simple concept, and that is something that my buddy at work today told me when I was telling him that I've been struggling. I've been struggling with this diet, with this health journey. I've been going backwards. I've been gaining weight. I've been eating too much. I've been not recording my calories still. And I'm kind of getting tired of making these videos and every week saying to you guys, I failed or I dropped the ball or I'm down again. But he told me it's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get back up again. Everybody falls, but you got to get back up and keep fighting. And so that is the theme of today's video to get back up again after messing up again. I was down to, I believe, 302 was the uh, smallest that I got to. And I was looking for that 300 weight um, back up to 310 in just a couple of weeks of uh, getting off the program and you know doing a bad job. So it's kind of scary how quickly I can start going in the other direction and how slow it is to go the right direction. It's like going up a hill versus falling down a hill. And uh, But my cousin reached out to me and said, where's my video? Because I haven't been posting. And I appreciate that, cousin. Thank you so much for the encouragement. You were a big, a big uh, encouragement to me. He said to stay on the path, and my buddy at work said to keep on getting up and keep on fighting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm at least going to keep on making these videos. I'm not going to stop doing that. And uh, what I have decided, though, is I'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed at each additional thing that I add, even though it's a small thing. To where I'm dropping lots of the things that I've already been doing. So we're coming into the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's going to be a big time of uh, potentially dropping the ball, potentially messing up. If I'm going to be messing up, it's going to be this time of year. So instead of adding new objectives between now and the end of the year every week, I'm just going to focus on maintaining and completing the objectives that I've done so far. This is week 71 if I'm doing my math right, which means I have added 71 changes to my life, which is enough for now to try to keep up with all 71 of those changes. Maybe one of these days we'll make a little bit longer video kind of just at least saying all the different things that we've changed, but most of them are in the title of the video. And, uh, but it's a lot. It's a lot, especially now that I'm falling behind. It feels like a lot to catch up and also add new. So I'm going to put my head down, start going back up the hill, and focus on the things that I have decided to do so far rather than continuing to burden myself with new things. And then, hey, stop, stop. My dog is chewing on something. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My dog is chewing on something. Um, instead of continuing to make new goals, I'm going to, between now and the uh, beginning of the new year, I'm going to take a break on that. And starting in the new year, I'm going to start adding goals again. And hopefully by then, I will have re-cemented everything that I uh, have committed to thus far. The main things I'm struggling with are recording my calories and therefore not going over my calories. And it goes hand in hand. I say to myself, if I don't record my calories, then I don't really know how much I've eaten so I can go ahead and eat as much as I want to eat. And it's it's there's things going on in my life that are adding stress that I'm not coping with well. So I just need to step back, try to cope with these things better and... Uh, just stick to that 3,000 calorie max. It's not that hard. A lot of the things that I've decided so far are just simple decisions that I need to stick to the path, stick with the decisions that I've made, and do the work, do the things that I've said I'm going to do. And so 3,000 calories a day, 
doing my exercises for 30 minutes and my lifting and stuff like that. I just need to stick with it and I will start seeing the results of the weight starting to go back down. And it's possible that even without adding anything new, I can get below 300 pounds before the new year. It is the 9th of November right now. So we have just a little under two months to lose 10 pounds. It's doable if I take it serious. So we'll see how it goes. And hope that you guys have a great week. Until the next one.